What is up guys, Rekka here with a new video and today with another video of the Amazon series. Um, there has happened a lot of good stuff actually since the last video. As you can see there is still the red dot here and I put that there to remind me to show you guys all the stuff that we got. Uh, senior privilege card expires in zero days. And we should buy a new one, <laughs> I guess. Uh, good that I read that. I usually tend to forget it and then I, I notice my gems are empty and then just 10 days later or something I notice my bloody senior privilege card ran out. But we noticed it, so that's nice. Uh, daily reward, with nothing too special. Flameshine ranking up, place, place one, that is good. Bond quest reward, another bond quest reward, and another bond quest reward, and another bond quest reward, and even more and more and more. And that's chest is what we are going to open soon because that is an artifact chest. Uh, even more bond quest stuff. And the thing is, I had a bond quest running for, um, well, the recent, uh, last month, and um, it, I kind of forgot about it, to be honest, and it just finished, and now we actually have all this stuff from the bond quest. Uh, this one we can open instantly. This one is a selection chest, so we do that later. But this is the chest that is the relevant one, that is the mysterious artifact fortune chest, and this chest used to be in the past be a chest where you had some orange exclusive artifacts and then you had some of those paid win artifacts and um, you had slight chance to get one of those and often you would just get an orange exclusive artifact and they actually changed that um, when they reworked the growth plan and now it's just paid to win artifacts uh, even melodic strings is interesting and uh, no gilded purple fan yet <laughs> maybe in the future um, but we can get any of these artifacts here. It's just a random chance, 8.3% to 8.4% per artifact. Those have 8.4%. And we have to see what we can get. I would mostly like to get another Demon Bell. Demon Bells are something we can definitely use. Um, I'm pretty open to what we get. I would rather not get a Torch or a, ma a Magic Stone Sword because those are not that useful to us. Uh, a KOG would be all right, actually because that is a 25% attack artifact and we can use that for tenant purposes for the time being. So that is all right. Um, candy bar? Well, uh, don't really need it. Stun immunity, I mean, you can have one. It's all right, but not really something we can use. Um, really, snow heart isn't as well because it's just an energy artifact for us and we won't do any competitive PvP for quite some time, so it doesn't really matter. Um, another melodic... Well, there really isn't too much good stuff, is there? <laughs> we take a DB, we take a Crown, we take a Rui. Uh, we really wouldn't even want an A and B. Oh, A and B, 25% attack as well. So uh, we take an A and B as well. So that is good. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we can get. Let's hope for the Demon Bell. Uh, Demon Bells all day long. So let's see. Come on. One. And there's an A and B. As I said, 25% attack, we get some speed, we get some block, so it's not all that bad, not really something I would have gone for with the chest, but, I mean, we take it. We take it. And we have 137 of those chests here, by the way. I wanted to use those in case we, we get kind of close to the Transcendence Hero and I want to make the video and then we could have just gone for a Crystal of Transcendence here for 20 or 30 boxes, but now we have a lot more and I just can't use them all for um, for Crystal of Transcendence. So I guess 100 of those are pretty soon going to be stellar. Uh, so that's something we are going to do. Um, beyond that, no, we're not going to buy that. Um, beyond that, we now have Black Friday. Uh, and that is, of course, an event we are not going to complete. We're not going to go for all of this beautiful new stuff. Um, I think that one doesn't even include it. Uh, this one. Uh, the new Gilded Purple fan artifact. I have that on my main account, so video is coming up on that artifact as well. Uh, still doing some testing, still figuring out if it's really good or not. It was like a little bit on the edge, I wasn't quite sure. Um, I think it's good. I think it's good, that much I can tell you. We will test it later in depth, but uh, it's quite good. Uh, we won't do any scrolls, we won't do, uh, spend any money here, because we, we won't get the frame anyway. It's at 650 points, we won't go for that. Um, we will just look at those rewards and see what we are going to buy here. There is a lot of scrolls. This account is VIP 7, so we definitely get some stuff. Starspawn Material Selection Chest, that is kind of nice, I have to say. Uh, getting like 10 red scores could be really nice to upgrade our first Starspawn a little bit further. 
Um, then obviously we have the Cloud Island chest. Uh, 150k, we get all the rewards in there, so that is definitely a must-have. Uh, and we have the slight problem of only having 6,415 gems. That is not really enough. Um, 10 cores for 4,500 gems. I mean, obviously. Obviously. No questions asked. We buy them for 1,500 gems every day, so uh, buying 10 for 4,500, which is basically the price of 3, and getting a 10-star puppet, yeah, we'll be up with that. Uh, definitely. Uh, the rest of the stuff we kind of have to buy while the week passes. We want everything that is here. We could skip this. I think we will skip this. And that is six star orange equipment. I mean, six star equipment is not bad. On my main, I would say, yeah, like it's not really that important. But we really don't have too much equipment here. So I would like to buy that. But the scroll buys, those are more important for us and obviously the CI, so we kind of have to go for that. And then again, we also have the um, the starry gem buys and there we have five cores for 100, uh, which is something we will buy. Um, Orange X clue, yeah, uh, that one we won't buy. That is that is not that great. We get hundreds of those every time. Uh, we will buy the C minus awakening crystal, definitely we'll do that and the C tier as well. And the C+, uh, and we sadly can't get the skin selection chest, which is definitely a good buy, by the way. Uh, this one is something we won't buy as well, so we kind of need some of those starry gems here as well. Uh, do we have stuff to retire, by the way? That is something that I want to look at. Another thousand gems here, that is good. Uh, we summon a lot. We, su we really do summon a lot. I wonder if we should retire some of those B-tier S models. Because I don't see a point where somebody buys this. Let's keep that up for the next video. If somebody that watches those videos here wants to have those S models, mm. I think I will put them in the, in, the, in the hero listing. We can do that. So we have two B tier S models. We need neither of them. We can try to sell this or do we want to keep this one? This one is like really good. 3900 attack with like B plus HP B plus attack. That is nice. Let's try to sell this. So they sell for around, around 950, 990 here. Then we have 350, 460. Let's hook those guys up. We do, we do like 400. It's a little bit lower than the other. Let's do 380 for the Amazon lads. Is that even retiring value? What is retiring value on those? Oh, wait a second. So let's list that. And then let's let's check out the retiring value for a second. I'm never sure what it really is. So B minus is 300, so we're selling slightly. Or retiring value in B tier is 600. Uh, the B tier, I'm not quite sure we can sell that. I mean, if anybody's going to buy that, it's 600 here, really. It's suggesting 800, but I'm not really seeing that. Let's just put it in. There aren't too many B tiers in the shop, so let's do that. Bidding price, we do. We do none. I don't want the bidding. Price is lower than starting price. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, we can't go without bidding, right? We have to do something like 590 or something. Yeah, let's go like this. And let's put that, those up for sale. If they, we can sell those, um, then we might later go for uh, some more buys for the event. And the other one, we will keep the other one for now. I think we can use it as a tenant later, so that would be quite all right. Um, let's do some course in the meantime. And then we need to buy some stuff for Contract Starry. Uh, Fate, 12 cores. Um, as I said, we are on a very unlucky streak. Uh, haven't quite gotten a core in, I would say, 40 cores. Something like that, I said. So let's do another 10 bomb at all for the best. We really need a core. You really need a core. We don't get a core soon, then uh, we kind of have to cut our losses and go for guidance because I can't do that to this account anymore. <laughs> So let's see. Skip cutscene. Come on! No! 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 I can't say no that often. Stop it! Give me... <laughs> okay, an Onkirimaru. We take an Onkirimaru. That is good. Where are the cores? <laughs> the age! Stop it! Give me a core. Last one! No! Another 10 bomb without a core. Bloody hell! They hate me now. Okay, 
I say like if we if we don't get a core in those last two, we are going to consider guidance. I will, I will I will let you guys decide in the comments if we go for guidance. But like that, yeah, that is not treating us well. That is not treating us well. That's like by a fifty streak without a core by now. That is not good. That is not good. We are seriously lacking Stella uh, pretty soon. We are we should have seven hundred fifty k Stella more than we have. Um, oh, we have a, we have an egg. Let's open that egg. No, it's nothing. Sadly, but we can upgrade our star spawn here a little bit more, so that's good. Um, so please write in the comments if we should go for Guidance now or stay with Fate. I seriously think Fate is currently hindering our progress. Uh, this guy could basically be V3 and we could work on the attack uh, buff here already. Um, and at the moment this is just not happening because we don't get enough, um, enough materials to do that. So... Uh, I think we just got a 10 star puppet. Let's use, use this instead. Because those 10 stars have actually helped the account a fair bit because we could use them in um, in Void Arc. And uh, having those in Void Arc was actually quite nice. Um, having 15 heroes that can go into a spot will help you progress there a little bit further, a little bit faster. And next thing I want to do, uh, I saw that there are Starry Gem more resets, so we have some more Soul Hammers. Um, and as we get closer to LFA, I want to improve our LFA, um, our LFA role a little bit. So let's buy all those soul demos. I will just uh, pause the recording and go buy those all, and then we go for the rolls. Okay, bought them all. You have to buy those all one by one. That is so stupid. Um, and we have damage reduction, holy damage, giant killer. I kind of like the roll, but we are going to go for giant killer defier and precision. I would accept giant killer defier. Um, well, like anything would be better. Like Giant Cloudy Fire is already good. Um, but getting some some damage reduction with that is also quite nice. The 20% damage reduction here actually help a lot. Uh, not Awakened Soul, that was wrong. Swap. And now we go for Soul Purification. We hope for the Giant Cloudy Fire roll. Let's see what we can get. And we're done. <laughs> there it is. Actually insane roll. Giant Killer Defire Holy Damage. That is how we want to see that. That is how we want to see that. Okay, that is that is perfect. That is that is well near perfect. This precision would have been better, but holy damage, thirty percent holy damage with giant killer defire. <laughs> Hook me up. That's it. We're going to go for that. So we have nineteen hammers left. That is actually insane. And we have a mockman that can use some hammers as well. So let's let's just just go for a mockman. Let's take a wonderful look at that. Um, that is one of the nicest uh, nicest stat combinations I've ever rolled, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So where's our Mockman? There he is. Um, has Giant Killer Holy Damage at the moment. We have Faction Rule. Faction Rule is actually useless. So let's see if we can get something. Giant Killer plus two damage stats or plus one damage stat. And the useful third stat would have been the improvement for that. Useful third stat is obviously not that. We need Giant Killer, we need at least one damage stat, and we need a useful third stat for this to improve. So that is the Fire, Precision Control, Immunity Offset. The Fire instead of Faction Rule would have, again, be a very nice roll. We would take Precision as well. Precision is good. Uh, at least damage reduction is nice. There are a lot of stats that would be nice in case of fa instead of Faction Rule, but Faction Rule doesn't really work. Skill damage would be huge. Skill damage instead of Faction Rule. That would be nice. That would be really nice. But currently this is looking like the rerolls on my SFX I did uh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago. Oh, that is worse. Um, where we barely got any giant killer rolls at all. And uh, on my main that is really that is really annoying because you have to wait for like a month. On this account it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's not that important. Um, yeah, and it looked exactly like this on my... Um, on my I rerolled Mockman on my main account, not SFX. Um, I got like Giant Killer Faction Rule and Damage Reduction here, and we, we basically only one stat changed. And sadly, that's the wrong one. Um, I would rather keep the Holy Damage, and instead of going for Damage Reduction, I would like to get rid of the Faction Rule, though. That would be huge. Uh, I thought for a second that would be good, but no, no, that's not a good rule. Uh, the, the Faction Rule is alright on a Dark Hero, but no longer all right if you go for Transcendence Hero. I mean, in that sense, it is still a decent stat. As long as we have him as, an, as a Dark Hero, that is still a decent stat, but I, will, I would rather start working on replacing that now than later. Um, 
it doesn't work on transcendence heroes that is the main issue with that stat uh on a dark hero it would it would really work and uh would provide him with 30 to 40 percent more damage so uh it's really not a dead stat here right now but it will become one sooner or later so let's work on that and uh, no good rule a uh, rule a uh, roll on our mockman but we are well prepared to go for um to go for lfa to improve on LFA and to get uh, to get some nice damage out of him, uh, we currently have the melodic attack with, uh, with the crit crit damage attack. So let's let's just take that and go for Sealand and see if our new role changed anything in the boss fight here. That is something I wonder. Uh, we can take this, 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 and this, and then we use the monster. And we do one attack. I think this, uh, getting stunned was a problem, right? Yeah, we got stunned. Nice. Um, can we can we improve the monster a little bit? No, we can't here. And that is maxed. And that is that is speed. That doesn't help us at all. So we are pretty much at the max that we can do here. Uh, we could go for unbending will. I don't think we have unbending will equipped at the moment. Uh, that would help a little bit. But like the chance to stun that those guys have insane uh let's take let's take unbending will and let's see if that helps a little bit i think we now have enough damage anyway uh with the giant killer the fire the the initial burst that we can do should be quite insane and let's go for triple speed because i can't really yeah those runs just die to stun and there's really not a whole lot that we can do our aspen is surviving well enough in the front line for the time being uh, but if the if the back row Aspen gets stunned, and that is not a 100% chance, there is really nothing we can do. So come on! That was alright, but there was no heal. And we didn't one-shot the boss. So we didn't kill the boss at all. I think that is something that we would need to do okay, uh, if we want to continue here. Then again, as soon as... Uh, there, no! No, it was so close. It was so close. I think we only didn't heal because we got we got sealed. So mean that those guys have so many control effects. And now we get stunned again. Ah, uh, yeah, we have to get an active off on turn one to have any chance. I think we can clear this, but as soon as we get LFA, this will be crushed anyway. So it's really not that important. But then again, we would get more loot from our SL smashes every day. I won't spend any gems right now. Obviously, obviously, considering we we have uh, Black Friday, that would be uh, that would be well stupid. That would be well stupid. Uh, that's something we definitely can't do. The damage is good though. The damage is good. Uh, sadly, our armor if our armor was E5 and she could survive, that would help a lot. But she sadly can't. And 22 has already a speed, so I think we are getting closer. Some more upgrades, and we are we are absolutely ready. Why do we have a red check mark here? Does that have a reason? I think we collected everything, yeah. Yeah, no idea why. No idea why. Anyway, guys, I think um, that's it for the moment. Uh, definitely write me what you think about switching from uh, Fate to Guidance in the comments. Uh, we kind of have a lot of losses there at the moment. And it's hindering the account progress. Uh, but I can understand if you guys say, go for Fate. Uh, suffer through it. I will do it. I don't, I don't, I don't mind if... Uh, if we have some damage from doing fate on this account, that is all right. Um, write me that in the comment. I wish you guys a great day, and we will see us in the next one.